What's going on? Fourth time's a charm for this damn video. First time, files were corrupted. It's all herky-jerky, couldn't use it. Second time, I figured out in the middle of making it that the problem that I had fixed, thought I fixed anyway, wasn't fixed. Third time, none of the video files had any audio. So, yeah. Busted out the good camera and the lapel mic and stuff, and this one's gonna work, damn it. I'm also gonna try to record my screen. Hopefully that works too. Uh, we'll give it a shot. Anyway, those of you that are in the Discord or are around on Facebook know that I had some major issues last week. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday were not good for the network. What was happening was I would get like big 30 second drops. It was almost 30 seconds on the nose every time. And it was kind of sporadic. Like there was no pattern to it or anything else. Sometimes it would be up for quite a while and other times it would be like two of them right back to back, which doesn't do so well for like VPNs and things like that. That's actually what made me notice was my um, work phone app thing if it loses connection like at all, it freaks out. <laughs> so every time it happened, it would pop up and like, you know, lose it. And I'm like, the hell's going on? Pulled up the radio and yeah. <laughs> Signals were good. Modulation was good. Everything was good connection wise. I could get all the way to the radio on the data center, no problem. But I would notice the throughput, the data is actually going through the radios, which is <laughs> off a cliff. And then 30 seconds later, whoop, right back up like nothing happened. I started running pings and I would notice like, Everything would be fine, fine, fine. Big chunk of missing, you know, timeouts. <laughs> fine, 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 on and on and on. Then somebody told me about Ping Plotter Pro. Ping Plotter is amazing. I thought I'd had it running this whole time, but it was paused. <laughs> it does pings and trace routes over time. So you can see when it's dropping, when it's not. You can see latency, you can see everything in a nice little neat graph right along the bottom. It's very, very cool. And it's free too. I'll put a link down in the description. But using this, I could tell that I could ping the radio from this side, no problem. Even when it dropped, no problem. But I couldn't get to the router. I was like, hmm, okay. Something between that radio and the router is freaking out. So I cranked up a VM on the server in the data center and started pinging the radio that way. And again, when it dropped, when it went out, it would drop that side too. Okay, cool. Something definitely between the router and the radio. I thought the only thing between the router and the radio was one switch. We're gonna paint this up because I am an artiste. <laughs> I thought it was like radio switch. Ooh, that's a good S to the cloud. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. So that's the router or a meatball. <laughs> Turns out though, there was another switch right here. I didn't know about that one. Somebody in Discord asked me, what's powering the radio? Is it PoE? And I'm like, well, they're all PoE. What he meant was, is it PoE from an injector or PoE from like a switch? And we were using uh, Edge Switch 8 on the roof to power the radio because John had some other radios and whatnot up there that he was powering with it also. Well, I thought he took all that down. Turns out he didn't. He took most of it down. He left a radio up there and that switch. So once I finally realized that, I got in that switch and I noticed that there were errors. Yep, dropped one error, still errors. Um, I haven't noticed it doing anything strange yet today. It seems to be working okay for now, but yeah, it, it freaks out. I don't know exactly why. Um, there's really no way to tell, as far as I know. If you mouse over this, nothing happens. It just says error. I sure would like to know what the error is. That would be nice. If you go over here, nothing. <laughs> it's just, hey, you have an error. <laughs> That's it. Cool. Thanks, Switch. That's good. No logs, no nothing. It's just, yep. So I don't know what the error is, but something is happening in this switch. Um, I turned off STP because I've actually had spanning tree protocol is what STP is. It, it prevents network loops and broadcast storms and things like that. I've had that cause issues like this in the past. Like when I was running a little eight port ubiquity switch at the relay house, I had that happen there. It kept killing the, uh, the backbone port. <laughs> of course that took down the whole network and I'm like, what is going on? So I ended up just turning spanning tree off completely. 
Uh, I did the same thing on this and it seemed to work okay until the other day when I went to make this video and everything was still broken. So yeah, the correct way to fix spanning tree issues is to find where the loop is coming from. <laughs> Don't just turn off spanning tree, it's kind of a band-aid fix. You know, desperate times call for desperate measures, but fix it the right way. I don't know exactly how I would do that on my network. Everything's so spread out. I'm not... Usually what you would do is you would go through and you would unplug everything and then plug one thing in at a time and wait for the problem to come back up until you plug it in and you go, oh, okay, that's the issue. Then you know where your culprit is. With my network, uh, I'm not real sure. I don't know how I'd fix that. <laughs> That'd be tricky. And utilization is cranking on this thing right now. So yeah, fix spanning tree the right way, but turns out it wasn't the main issue in my case anyway, because I got on here, see it's not doing it right now. You'll see little chunks of red instead of giant 30 second long chunks of red. When I made the video the other day, it was just little slivers and it'll drop for like four seconds at a time, something like that, which I mean, overall I can kind of deal with as long as they're spread out. I don't read that. You know, it's less than ideal, but I don't really care a whole lot. Most people would never notice that. Most things will work fine like that. That's not really the end of the world, as long as they're spread out enough. You know, when you start getting them back to back, then issues can pop up. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. The way I'm gonna fix this is I'm gonna replace that switch. I have a Natonix on the way. I'm gonna swap that switch out for a Natonix, and hopefully that'll get rid of everything because it doesn't seem to be spanning tree that's doing it. Maybe the switch is just dying. Um, how another switch could be dying, I have no clue. That would be, what, like the second one that's died over there at the data center? That's crazy. To be fair though, this one is on the roof in broad daylight and has been for like, I don't even know how long. So if that one died, at least it would make a little bit more sense. But still, it's like, damn, another dead switch? Jeez, really? Either way, I'm gonna swap it out for a Natonix and hopefully that will get rid of this issue because yeah, this is not good. <laughs> it's working pretty well right now. Knock on wood, knock on all the wood. Yeah, what turned out to be kind of a, hey, look what I did, look how I fixed it, learn from my mistakes, learn from my issues kind of video turned into a, um, it's still broken, um, yeah, video. <laughs> so that's fun. <laughs> I've got some other stuff I'm working on. Um, looking into getting fiber at the tower or nearby over here. That's, uh, I don't know exactly what's gonna come of that. We'll see, but I don't know. It would be really, really nice to have tower at the, tower at the fiber. <laughs> fiber at the tower, that would be amazing. Working on that, still working on the second backhaul shot. Every time I turn that radio on, the first backhaul radio goes, nope, I'm out. Not real sure what to do about that. They're facing like totally different directions. I don't know how close they are. Maybe I'll have to like move one down. I don't know. So yeah, still tweaking and working on stuff, trying to get this working better than it does. Uh, the backbone shot while the capacity still sucks is uh, stable, <laughs> works great. Hasn't gone down, hasn't given me any issues. Again, knock on all the wood. I did one more install uh, a couple days ago or had one more install done, I should say. And uh, did that because the connection itself is at least stable enough and I had a little bit of room to work with after a little bit of tweaking that I did and they kept emailing me and bugging me like hey can I get hooked up hey can I get hooked up I was like okay all right fine I'll hook you up no problem so yeah that's what's been going on in my world uh last week was a bit of a nightmare um anyone that has a wisp <laughs> you're gonna run into this at some point uh I think the correct way to fix this overall, like once and for all, like for good, is to divide the network up. Right now, I, I have like one router and then all the CPEs are behind their own router. The big network in the middle is all just one big network. And that's how you get storms and broadcast issues and loops and weird stuff going on. So I think the, the real correct way to fix it, and it's gonna take some time, kind of put a, a router at each hop, make each link its own little network and then have whatever on the other side of that. That would potentially complicate NAT issues because <laughs> instead of being double NATed, they would be like triple or quadruple NATed. That's one issue I have with doing that. I don't know, that, that may break some stuff for some people, but I'm kind of thinking that that's the right way to do it. Routers create networks and storms, loops, only happen in networks. So if you break up everything, the odds of having things all get looped together and, and screwed up like that are 
slim, slimmer. But again, it creates other problems like NAT issues and things. So I'm still looking into how I may do that, but I think that may be the, the correct way to fix it for good. For now though, that's all I got. Like, share, sub, all that happy nonsense. Later.